Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all enjoyed my first YouTube video where we described how we do an entire event. Today we're going to uh, experiment four different kind of YouTubes. Uh, sorry for. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to experiment four different kind of fluid art techniques something i have not done before i have been meaning to do it um i've seen this from like a lot of different artists trying something um so yeah like we're just putting some four techniques together and i'm super excited how it's going to turn out i have no idea i have not done any of these techniques before Okay before we get into the video please like comment share subscribe or just subscribe Before we get into the videos uh, guys please subscribe so i can like keep coming up with new videos for you guys Let's get into it now I'm I'm feeling like a first time. I've been doing this for like 4 years, 5 years now. But like this is fun. Let's see how you feel when you come to my workshop. <laughs> I have created a base a white base usually I don't do this but the technique that I'm trying to uh, experiment I feel like a base will be better because there's not a lot of paint I'm going to add in the cup uh in the cup now I'm going to just use all of the colors I do not know how but I'm very excited to pour it in a certain way I'll show you Not exactly how I thought it. <gasps> wow! Yeah, I'm surprised. I did not expect this at all. I'm very, very, very happy. All right so this is the second technique i've been so excited about it's called the gradient splash so hoping this cushion doesn't get dirty but it's important because comfort and my knees okay so for this technique we're using a masking tape to just create like a border all right so we are doing some jugaad for this technique i saw this artist that i'm uh, follow what he's done is to sort of just put two brushes together he has screwed them i can't screw it i'm not a handyman but what i can do is i'm trying to put like some scale and then just attach two brushes together jugaad all the way So I want to think before I choose my colors, uh, and I started thinking. One second, let me just go for it. So the whole idea is that we're going to first create a gradient on the canvas, and then we're going to do a swirly pour on it. That's what this artist did. I want to try that. So for that, let's do like a blue gradient with like a yellow and orange gradient. I also have to wash these and then start with our colors. 
This is the only boring part, I think, of the whole painting process. Now we have to wait for this to dry and then we're going to do some spilling on it. The plan for this gradient will be, I'm going to use the dustpan. I'm also going to, I don't know what colors I'm going to use, but the artist that I saw used black and white and then a little bit of color. I think it'll look very cool, but I think I'm going to add some of these colors also. Let's see. So we are starting with our fourth canvas today, like our fourth technique. In this one, we're going to make um, super tiny smileys. Uh, whenever I make this, I feel like I'm making pancakes, but a little different. On Instagram, I have done uh, yellow smileys, which is very cute and scary at the same time when I did it, uh, because the expressions are different. Now we're gonna do pastel one. Here I'm creating a black base, just spreading it out with a palette knife and creating those pancakes I was talking about, but the pastel ones. Uh, it's very normal to F up midway, but you need to remember to keep going. I'm stuck now. <laughs> We've already done pink and then there's like too much. Giving my little pastel balls some faces. Now I'm going to try to convert them into faces. So I'm making eyes. After I make the eyes, I sort of try to make the ghosts. I feel like they do look like cute ghosts, don't they? Nice. Now they're like cute ghosts. So this was the last technique for the day. Uh, we tried about four. This was a lot, lot of fun actually for me. Um, but if it is as fun as it is for me, what am I saying? If it is as much fun for you as well, let me know on Instagram, Sakshi Nukar Art. Uh, tag me, I can then see what you've done, what colors you've used, how much more fun it was for you. And if you want me to try something else, uh, let me know in the comments where I can just sort of Google and I can sort of try, try to give me like technique names or something easier for me to find because there are a gazillion ones on fluid art. But nice, I would love to see you soon. <laughs> Bye.